Hey YouTube. Hello people. This is the African Express or the African Mama, aka Arthur Willems. Um, I made a mistake, so I had to take um, the, my previous videos down. Those videos down. I made a slight error, so I had to. I decided to go back to the drawing board and redo everything. You know, this is. I'm in my cab right now. That's my printer over there. So I, I, I got like my little office in here. My laptop, as you can see, this cab is very small. It's a small cab. You don't have much space for anything. So I have my stuff all over the place. Anyway, let's get going. I don't want for this video to be too long, okay? Again, this is Bridger's um, lease purchase numbers, Bridger Logistics. Um, they announced a new load rate increase two days ago so we so we um, we have received um, our new rates is a is how do I put it it's a little bit better you know it's better than what we had it's not it's it's not much but it is something I think we can work with so without further ado let's jump into the numbers Okay, so um, as I stated earlier, truck payment two thousand five hundred a month. Let me do this so you guys can at least be looking. Truck payment two thousand five hundred. I gotta close this guy thing. I think. Okay. Okay. Truck payment 2500 trailer payment 1005 a month insurance 1002 in cab 180 place registration 131 truck maintenance program 500 a month that gave you that gives you a total of six thousand and eleven dollars um, divided by four weeks you're gonna see a fixed cost of one thousand five hundred and two dollars and seventy five cents so that's a fixed this is fixed cost. This does not include your fuel or any other um, um, any other variable cost. Again, this is fixed cost per week, one thousand five hundred and two dollars. Most drivers are telling me, including me, I've averaged um, eight hundred dollars a week. Um, for few but I decided to carry it which is three thousand two hundred dollars a month but I decided to take it to to, to use three thousand five hundred just to be on on the safe side so weekly fuel your weekly cost three thousand five hundred three thousand five hundred dollars divided by four is gonna give you eight hundred and seventy five dollars weekly fuel cost I didn't add any trailer cost the trailer is on you if anything happens to the trailer, you uh, you have to fix it out of pocket. The trailer has no maintenance program, so um, it is up to you to put money aside for the trailer. So I didn't include that because that is totally on the driver to put money aside for the trailer. Now, with monthly co fixed cost six thousand eleven and monthly fuel cost three thousand five hundred, your total monthly cost is nine thousand five hundred and eleven dollars. Divided by four weeks, you you are going to get two thousand three hundred and seventy-seven dollars and seventy-five cents for um for your weekly cost, your week your total weekly cost two thousand three hundred and seventy-seven dollars and seventy-five cents. Drop a paper. Yeah, I did drop a paper. Uh, drop a paper. Give me a second, folks. Okay, folks, let's jump right into the math again. Okay, the mistake I made on the earlier video, I included. I included the fuel cost. Um, 
I included the, the mistake I made on the first video, right? You see this number? I included the fuel cost. I shouldn't have included the fuel cost because if you are not working that week, okay, be, um, our um, our week uh, week week our work week starts Monday, so um, it makes sense to at least receive your load before you fuel up on Monday, right? But if Monday comes and you see that there's no load, why buy fuel? So Tuesday no load, still no fuel. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So for that, for, for that, for those six days, if you are not going to buy fuel, then you then you are not going to have any fuel costs deducted from the six hundred dollars that they are going to pay you you know, for sitting and not working. You know. So again, the company pays you six hundred dollars a day, right? If you were if you are scheduled to work and you didn't work that day because the well went down okay the company pays you six hundred dollars a day if you are scheduled to work that day but they didn't work because of the well because the well went down so and my math is based off six six days work week because legally even I mean, even though even though we work seven days legally you are supposed to work six days and then rest one day to reset your hours but normally we don't I mean we don't do that we work straight through all seven days a week so but everything I do is based off a six days work week and my math does not include any fuel surcharge and it does not include detention pay or demerge pay as it is known here in the um, in the oil field so the next two or three um, math I'm gonna show you there's no fuel surcharge there's no demerge or detention pay those are extra incomes that you sh that uh, uh, that you should consider when you are doing your your work or your your math or making your decision so if the company gave you 600 a day for six days for sitting and not working because the well went down it's gonna be 3600 minus the the fixed cost the fixed cost a week is oops okay that's much better the fixed cost per week is one thousand five hundred and two dollars and seventy five cents so if you do not work one week if you are scheduled to work you do not work you're gonna receive two thousand nine two thousand and ninety seven dollars and twenty five cents just for sitting that week okay this is this is the mistake I made on my previous video that's why I had to take those videos down I didn't take into consideration that if you do not work a week more than likely you wouldn't have any fuel costs so if you take the fuel costs away you have two thousand and ninety seven dollars just for sitting and not working because the well went down now my next my next map is based off a 36 to 40 miles load if you're to do two two loads per day right at 374 dollars times six days you're gonna gross four thousand four hundred and eighty eight dollars that week minus the total cost now this cost includes the fuel cost this cost includes the estimated 875 dollars fuel cost for that week so if you minus the fuel cost plus the fixed cost from your gross you're gonna take home you're gonna take home two thousand one hundred and ten dollars again this this does not include fuel surcharge or detention the last math I'm gonna do is if what I mean um, this is what we're doing right now we're doing I think in 96 to 100 miles run load now we um, if you're the if you if you were to do two per day at five hundred and eighty one dollars you're gonna um, that's one thousand one hundred and sixty two dollars a day that's six thousand nine hundred and seventy two dollars gross a week if you minus your total cost from six hundred nine hundred and seventy two dollars gross per week per week you're gonna take home five hundred and five four thousand five hundred and ninety four dollars now again there's no there's no fuel surcharge in this map and there's no detention or demerge in this map okay 
so if you were to do a 96 to 100 miles run load to you, you for six days now not seven days everything I do is based off six days you're gonna gross six thousand nine hundred and seventy two dollars and minus your total cost you're gonna take home four thousand five hundred and ninety four dollars and twenty five cents okay the pros the pros I listed just a few things here okay let me do the cons uh, the the cons first the negative for working with this company they um, they have below average load rates the detention starts after six hours now let me explain that a little bit the detention starts from when you go to pick up the, the um the detention starts from when you go to pick up the sand at the loader for example if you spend three three hours loading and then you go to unload you spend another um, maybe four hours to unload you you combine the three plus four that's seven hours so you get paid one hour detention so that means detention starts from the loader it doesn't start from when you it, it does not start from when you go to unload you combine your loading time and your unloading time anything above six hours that's why you get paid paid in detention and the last negative is the caps the caps are very small as you can see this is a very small cap in here these trucks um, I think were mainly built for crew oil haulers because crew oil haulers they don't really spend all day in the, um, in the, um, the truck but fraction we do fraction haulers we do the pros for working here they have good equipment um, if you want to hire a driver and build a fleet you can do that you can add a, uh, uh, um, another truck so you can hire a driver and, um, and, and add another truck to your current truck there's no money down no credit check um, there's a full truck maintenance program that means if anything happens to the truck they'll fix it that's why you pay $500 a month they have fuel surcharge um, if you another thing is if you are working and you feel that the frack fuel is not good for you you can transfer to um, to the crew oil or the water or holy water the six hundred dollars a day retention it well breaks down and you are scheduled and you are on the schedule to work so these are the pros good equipment you can hire a driver no money down no credit check full truck maintenance program fuel surcharge you can transfer the water accrual you have six hundred dollars a day retention it well breaks down and you are on schedule to work so those are the um, um, those are the pros and the cons now Bridger is in Bridger is in a transitional a transitional stage they are transitioning from pay every 10 days to weekly to, 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 to paying drivers every 10 days to weekly because of that they are not paying the current drivers until next month and because of that they decided to give all the the, 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 the current drivers loan loan based on how they have been working the past week weeks uh, one or two weeks or months so everybody received loans everybody like I received mine let me see if I can show you guys I received mine right every driver received a loan from Bridger for, for next week and at the end of for this week to this what to this Saturday yeah for next week and at the end of next week we are going to receive another loan okay so based off every every everyone's um, work ethics um, for the past week for the past week or two Bridger gave everybody um, a loan and this loan is to be paid I think by two I, I think 2020 2020 so some people receive 8,000 other people receive 4,000 let me show you how much I receive 
I receive see Bridger Logistics I received 3,500 so this is based off um, this is based off how I work since I came on a Bridger so Bridger believe that I'm good for 3,500 dollars loan that means my work ethics the past one or two weeks has been I mean has been valued at at least three thousand five hundred dollars a week okay so folks not to make this video too long um with the new rates announced by bridger two days ago i think it i mean um currently this this whole program is not great but it is fair to good i think you can come and make it work um i think you can come and save some money uh, if you want and buy a truck and then move ahead or if you want to stay you can stay so my recommendation right now is to I mean if you want to make more than a company's driver's pay you I mean come to Bridger and if you have good work ethics you can make things work for you okay um, I think that's that I don't want to make this video too long so this is the African Mama 